Good morning, good afternoon, good evening family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. First of all, you guys, I know it's a little dark, okay, so uh, I cannot uh, make the adjustments right now. The light bar broke, and um, I'm so fired up to do this video that I just can't even wait. So I'm coming to you as I am. And I'm hoping that y'all will just deal with the content. And although you can't see my mug, uh, know that um, I'm fired up about this. And you may ask, well, what you fired up about in the mental health? Now, although I'm not a therapist, I'm not a psychiatrist, and I don't profess to be. But one thing I am familiar with is the damn crazy. I could spot crazy. I can smell crazy, I can detect crazy, and I can feel crazy, okay, probably because I've been exposed to so much crazy, okay, like a lot of y'all, the only thing is, most of us don't want to call it, and so in this particular case, what I am speaking of is the unprofessional, the lowdown way that Boyce Watkins addressed Yvette Carnell and attacked her because he was found out to be a fraud by his fellow partner uh, Charles Wu. Charles Wu went on to talk about with one of his other counterparts uh, how he uses a marketing scheme um, with Boy, Boyce Watkins and how they manufacture and sell hope. In fact, Boyce is such a caricature that he even cries sometimes for special effect. And that, um, you know, black people are so, have such a propensity to want to worship and, and have a real strong connection with spirituality. So we do the things that play to their religious uh, background or their spiritual uh, um, um, dedication. So we're going to build a we're building a scheme, and we're selling hope around all the attributes that are strong in black people. And we're going to use Dr. Boyce Watkins as our lead boy to lead the sheep to the slaughter. Okay. I've never heard Yvette Carnell say that black business is not cool. I've heard her say that black business without black politics is dead. There is no black business without black politics. This is what I've heard Yvette say. I've never heard Dr. Boyce Watkins even say anything in terms of uh, what the government owes us. And somehow, because civics have been taken out of most of the schools and most of our young people are dumbing down and they don't have a clue to how government works, they don't have a clue to what government responsibility is, you actually got this Negro, Boyce Watkins, trying to convince you that we are begging the government when there's all kinds of books around here like the color of law, or books like uh, the Ho A Black Holocaust in America, books that have told you uh, this the half has never been told. Um, the slavery, the legacy of slavery. There are so many things and books out here that are showing you that we can never catch up. These people have have a have had a 400 year start on taking what our inheritance from us. And you people, you I'm saying those, I know some of y'all are very wise. And those of y'all who know I'm not saying this directed at y'all, eat the meat and throw away the bone. I ain't talking to you. But some of y'all don't really know. Again, because like I said, you've been dumbing down. So you put your hope in a man like Boyce Watkins because, again, a lot of y'all don't even have fathers. Okay? So you look up to him as a father figure. And he takes advantage of the fact that you had never had a father. He's taking advantage of the fact that you, most black people, are appalled 
and abhor the condition that we're in. We're looking for an easy way out. We're looking for escapism, as James Brown said. Escapism, escapism. Okay? Ain't nothing wrong with that. I get it. But when you got people that look like you that are praying off of that part of your desperation, they know how desperate you are. And then they're taking that and use it to their advantage. Those people are not for you. They're to your detriment. And we need a purge, a black purge in the black community to purge some of these Negroes out. And listen, I'm sick and tired of y'all talking about this unity, 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 unity. There cannot be any unity without any uh, 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 peace, without any um, with you can't have peace and unity with deception, lies, thievery, all shit built on that. There is no unity in that. And don't your skin color does not make me you want to unify with you and you a damn crook. OK, so I don't know what's wrong with y'all. Y'all have been so messed up. We have been so messed up collectively that we are actually just so immature politically that we locking on to somebody because of their skin color. If that's the case, I would take John Brown and all of his sons, every last one of them, before I take a Negro like Brother Polite or Boyce Watkins. Okay? Because these white, that white man and his sons laid down his life for black people. Now you sit up here telling me about a black man that's leading his people to the slaughter through black capitalism connecting with white capitalism and which is what destroyed us in the first place. So you, in essence, you have a man leading the sleep, us the, again, the sheep to the slaughter. Y'all might not like what I'm saying and I really at this point... I, I don't I don't care. I am so disappointed that because he did not want to address he did not want to address the Charles Wu. So psychosis would be to deflect. So what you deflect on talk about who her partner is, who she in bed with. Okay? But you in bed with white people. You in bed with a white man. That's telling that says that you cry on cue to deceive your people. That's what you do. So you want me to take the lesser of the two evils? I don't give a damn who grown people sleep with. Because it's none of my business. Okay? But what is my business is you and people like you setting up shop, taking advantage of our brokenness, taking advantage of our uh 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 desire to want to be out of this sunken place that we're in and you know the sunken place that we're in and because of it you take our hopes and dreams and aspirations and then you sit bow down with somebody named Charles Wu and you take advantage of everything that's about that's the core of us how dare you how dare you Okay, frauds come in all shapes, sizes. You're a black capitalist. You're, in fact, everybody that you in bed with, the Maven people, now this people, is not people that look like you. But you're pushing a business school. And you're going to have some fools that stick with you. You have some fools, just like Harriet Tubman said I freed a thousand slaves, I could have freed a thousand more. Had I just been able to convince them that they were slaves. Okay? Listen to that again. I freed thousands of slaves. Hundreds of slaves. I could have freed thousands more had I been able to convince them that they were slaves. It's a travesty that civics have been taken out of the school system. It's a travesty that black people don't know what black politics is. I know what black politics is. That's why I said Yvette Carnell was talking a bold, a bold politics. And most of you cowards and you. Let me just say it when you can understand it. Most of you bitch made Negroes can't handle that. I'd much rather just think about. Uh, Anything 
other than confronting this government. You're going to die anyway. And you're dying anyway. Why don't you make a future for your babies and your grandbabies? Because guess what? Capitalism is what got us here in the first place. All right? Capitalism that destroyed our legacy. I'm not telling you not to engage and not to have business because I will be a hypocrite, just like Boyce Watkins. I have a business, but I employ one person. I used to run a group home and I employed five. But I didn't have the capital. And I ran out of money. Okay? All right. So what I'm telling you is both of these uh, components together is what's going to change the condition that we're in. There is no black business without black politics. Black politics is the mantra. And if y'all don't believe black politics is the mantra, then you're a fool. You're a fool. Why don't you see why they've taken civics out of school? Because this is a result. Y'all don't know the difference in somebody owing you something and begging. Y'all don't know the difference between a rightful, a um, restitution package for black folk. Just like it was offered to any other uh, group like the Japanese, Jews, anybody else that was oppressed. And we have a unique story. Unlike anybody's. And hey, you scared. Well, you always have been, and I, I get it. I get it. On a cellular level, we've witnessed too much mayhem, violence, corruption, death, murder, whipping, beatings, stompings, and everything at the hands of this white man. And a lot of y'all are afraid to confront it. I say the white man because pretty much... um. You know, that's what I've been taught to say. So maybe I should say this government of the United States. Anybody that's a sane and rational person is going to understand that. You got devils in blackface. So I want to make that clear. You got devils in blackface. And it's not important to me <coughs> who somebody is in bed with especially when they have already said they don't have a problem with interracial relationships whether they're in one or not I could care less but I do have a problem with you being in bed with an Asian man and a white man that who has known been known to screw us over and so now we've been led to the slaughter Again, by our own kind. Yeah. I got you, boys. I got you. And with that being said, I'm going to go. Because I had to make this video. If you like what you hear, please subscribe, like, share. And I'll see you next time, right here, in the mental health. But let me tell you this as well. If you're living in a glass house, don't you throw no stones, no. Oh, if you're living in a glass house, don't you throw no stones. Oh, P.S. One more thing before I go. Dr. Boyce Watkins has pictures of his stepdaughter getting married to a white guy. There's no black people in the wedding party. There's no black people looks like apparently in her world. That's who Boyce Watkins is. He's a person that's black. But he hates himself because he's black. And if he raised her and all she got in her world is white, I shudder to think what she learned growing up and especially what she learned from him. So with that being said, I'm going to go. Like, 
subscribe and share.